Broadcasting worldwide to every nation, this is the Gospel America Television Network. Broadcasting to every nation on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, and online at gospelamerica.net. It's time for Fire and Spirit with your host, Mary Taylor, where you'll get information on how to stay in shape and you'll get some information that will fuel your soul. It's all coming up now on Fire and Spirit with Mary Taylor. Hey guys, I hope you were joining me while we was warming up. Today we're gonna use some weights and we're gonna strengthen the entire body, okay? So I just want you to warm that body up just a little bit. I like to stretch out. And I like to take my time when I'm stretching out because when you go slow, you're using your deep muscles to wake them up. It's like, hey, hey, you know? And if you're just a beginner, just go here. Don't engage your knees so much. Just, and, and just push your hip up. Push the hip up, okay? Push it up and push it up. Those of you that's a little bit more flexible, you're gonna bring it here, okay? Good. And those of you that just think you got it going on, here we go. And walk it in. And you step. So we're just gonna bring our arms out. And then we're gonna just push. Push hard. There you go. Push it. And if you have some issues with your rotator cup, we're gonna here and turn here, okay? And we're gonna do it nice and slow. And here, I like this one because it really, really wakes up that cup. Okay, you never ever want to do this fast. You always want to do it slow. So it's pinky to pinky, ah, and it's knuckle to knuckle. Okay, what did I say? Pinky to pinky, and knuckle to knuckle. All right, now let's loosen up those wrists. So you just want to circle them, you can circle the other way. If you have carpal tunnel, this is a good exercise for carpal tunnel. And when you're dealing with your nerves, it tells me you're missing some decents. How about that? Fine food is high in B6. Exercise and look straight ahead at a brand new life, right? Right. Front. And then we're just gonna turtle neck. Hold it there, push it up, push it up. Push it up. And then you're gonna push down as though somebody has their hands on your shoulders. Let's go. Push down. Push it all the way down. You should feel the stretch in the middle of your shoulder blades, the back of your neck. Come on, y'all. Up. All the way up. You can do this. You feel it? Yeah. I see you over there prancing. You just want to get in the groove, baby. Just go ahead and move. Push. Yeah. Make sure you have water. I did drink some, a little bit. But as I told you before, I like to put ginger in my water. 
And we're gonna bring it to the front and back. And front and back. Front and back. Front and back. So we're working these shoulders, warming them up, okay? Because we're gonna pick up the weights and we want them to be strong enough. Carry these weights, shake it out. Come on, you can do this. I love it. And we're gonna step just a little bit. Let's watch the step. Bring it down. Bring it down. Hands on the floor. Yeah, that burn, but you'll be all right. Push it. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see exactly what I'm doing with my feet. Here we go. Push, push. Push. Bring it up. Now we engage the body. Here we go. You can do this. And step. You ready for those weights? Here we go. We're gonna start here. I'm gonna suck my belly all the way in. Arms are straight, close to the body. Here we go. I call this my pulse. So this is for your chest muscles. You can actually feel the chest muscles, okay? Be a human, come on! It's like, Lord, help my sister out. Okay, come on. So I'm gonna bring it a little bit further out and I can feel the muscles in my neck. So if you think that the muscles in your neck cannot be improved, get you some weights and call me. How they say, call me. I'll tell you what to do. Bring it down, back to the chest. Look up, feel the neck. Suck that belly in. Good. Now we're gonna raise it up. Good. How you doing? Are you starting to get warm? <laughs> you can't get warm just standing still looking at me. You gotta move. I love it. And when I come down, I'm crunching my belly. I'm working these arms though. And now we're gonna pulse. And that's really, really, really hard. Working those back muscles. Come on, y'all. You're looking good. Now give a bounce to it. You're working the size of your obliques. You need that to get tight. I can't express. People say, I want to get rid of my belly. Well, tighten up your, your back, tighten up your obliques so it has something to pull that belly in. Ah, I love it. Here we go. And then we're gonna go to the side. Here we go. To the side, go. Don't, don't go all the way here. I want you to strengthen it. So you're gonna come here and you're gonna hold that tummy tight. Let's go. Ah. I'm starting to sweat faster. And the other side. Because I'm going deep into my muscles. Waking them up. You don't think they woke from the last time? <laughs> Let's go. This has to be fun. Don't make exercising hard. Like, oh, I gotta do 20 of this and 20. Of this. Just do what you feel. Let's that. Yeah. And here we go, watch your knees. You don't wanna bring it down here, you wanna bring it here. So those arms gotta be strong, 
You gotta hold that belly in. You're gonna feel it. Good. Good. Arms out. Hold. Hold. You're gonna hold it here. Hope your arms don't break over there trying to hold these weights. Look at you. Hold them up. Get those arms up. <laughs> Uh, almost there. Just hold them still. Just hold them. And then we're going to bring out and in. Yeah. Swing them. Working that muscle. Y'all want to pump up that muscle. Say, I got a muscle. Here we go. And remember, you don't need weights. You can learn how to use your body as weight. Okay? I do that a lot. But sometimes I need to show you how to use the weights. Yeah. And don't try to go so fast with the waist. I think I explained to you in one of my videos that sometimes I'm on the beat and sometimes I'm behind it. Okay? And you move with that because if you're lifting something really heavy, and I think I'm doing like, yep, yeah, four pounds. So I have eight pounds in front of me. I don't want to go fast so I, that I pull a ligament or something, okay? So you're going to do this and here. Keep your legs close together as you can. So we're working the side of our stomach and front. Keep going. Keep going. Get ready for the side. You ready? Here we go. Yeah. I like that. Step up. So you, you don't want to go here yet. You just want to go here. Now go. Your knees are already soft. So you just want to move your upper body. Just your upper body. Stretch it in front of your feet. Good. And I like to go eight, eight, sometimes three, eight, just to make you work extra hard. Step. Because most time you do four and you do six. But I'm kind of like on the, the Looney Tune side. So I do eight, 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 or 24. Okay? Just so I can get you all the way into what you're doing. Here we go. Come on, we're gonna speed it up in a minute. I'm working the top right here. I'm working it, okay? Here we go. Work it. Bring it up. You should have a nine pack after this. <laughs> or a 12 pack. <laughs> I don't know which one. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Stack. Come 
Let me go. Out. You see I'm going at an angle. And I'm stretching my arms. Nice and straight. Like an A. Do I look like an A? Did I make the good line of an A? <laughs> Praise God. Okay, here we go. Step out. I'm getting ready to move my waist with it. Here we go. And go. get into it. That was warm up. Yeah. We're going to high leg lift. Working these legs, okay? That's what we're doing. Working the legs. And I always engage my core. So we start out here. And then I'm going to rub bow. Here we go. Back to the leg. Back to push. Like bouncing a basketball. Back to the leg. Yeah. Here we go. Hannah. Other side. Front. Side. Getting ready to run at somebody. Back leg. Good. Push. Push. Push those arms. Push. Squat. Squat. I like that. Come on. Right here. You're going to feel it. Pump. Now we're going to engage our arms. Are you ready? Back it up. Oh, my calves. Yeah. Out. Back to the slow arms. Back it up. Gracious God. Woo! Working those quads. Get 
ready to step. Here we go. I gotta shake the quads out. Working those legs. <laughs> Y'all see? I'm looking right at you today. We tape on Sunday. And this is a slogan that we have for Sunday. After service, before you go and eat out, you come and work out. Okay? So if you can't get to where I am, you get right here. You get right here on Gospel America Network. And you say, okay, I'm going to go to service, and when I finish, I'm going to see Miss Myrick. Miss Myrick. I let her beat me. Let her beat me down. Come on, come on, come on. And then when she finished beating me down, guess what? I can't eat. I can just barely drink some water. Guess what? If you exercise before you have dinner, you won't feel like eating dinner. Skip it. You don't need it anyway. You got enough inside of you to sustain you for three, four, five days. We eat too much. We, W-E, eat, E-A-T, too, T O much. How do you spell that? M-U-C-H. Okay? So have some fun with me. Keep it right here. Don't let it go. Squeeze some glutes. Squeeze them. Look to the hill, which comes your help. Come on. Now straighten that body up. Suck it in. And work. Now I move from the ball of my feet to my heels. Flat foot. Now I'm getting all of my glutes, my hamstring, my calves, and I'm getting ready to do my quads. And I'm engaging my hips. Here we go. Right here. Right here. Work it. Make sure that your knee goes straight down. Make sure it goes straight down. I feel my quads. They're not being nice. Uh-uh. They hurt. Step. Woo. So we're gonna pull the hip in and out, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Switch. Single. Because we're going to another phase. So I'm strengthening right here. And I'm standing up tall. And I'm pivoting on the floor. I've turned it side so you can see. Just 
Bend over a little bit. Open. And slide. Four. Single. Take your time. Push. 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 Come on. Push. Hold on to those ankles. We can ready to wrap up. Come on, go through, all the way to the floor. Hey. Give the blood time to recirculate. Now we're gonna pump. Are you ready? A good back is a solid belly. To the front, to the side. Work it. Work it. Leg up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I always like to go back to that waist because we want all this to get tight, front, side, back. Yep. Here. Squeeze everything. Those pulse I like. Make sure your knees are behind your toes. Try to straighten your body up so you can stretch. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, that burns. Now pull it up. Yeah, that burns. Down. Yeah, that burns. Up. The waist. The glutes and the legs are connected. They all got to be flexible. Stretch it. Elbows. And I'm gonna make this a little bit harder because I'm using my body as weight, but I'm gonna step back here and get these weights and make it even more harder. Okay, y'all ready? So again, I have eight pounds in front of me. Yeah. Bring it to the side. You're looking good. Now we're gonna pop up those high knees. Here we go. And I raise it high so I have energy to bring it down. Bring it down. And now we're gonna pick it up for those that's experienced. 
That one was modification. Bring it in. Here we go. And we go. Move those arms with those weights. Stretch it out, and we're gonna have a little health talk. We're gonna talk about our bodies and the function of our body. While we're getting ready, I want you to take a sip of water because you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. Ah, uh, yeah. I have my ginger and water, so take a sip. Take some deep breaths. <sighs> Stretch those arms some more. <laughs> I'm talking to the crew, they're stretching. Let me give a shout out to the two lovely people that make all this happen. Aaliyah and Lindsay makes it happen. They have beautiful smiles. They won't come on camera and look at y'all because they say I got to work. <laughs> I love you ladies. I love you. Couldn't do it without you. And we're going to talk about trying to do everything by yourself. Some things you can do by yourself, but if you want something done well, you need to get out of yourself and get somebody that know more than you know to help you do what you want to do. Ah, did I say that? Key word, somebody that know more than you know. I don't know how to run a camera. I get somebody that does. I don't know how to do sound. I get somebody that does. I don't know how to direct and do this by myself, so I get somebody to direct. Call the cues, tell me when to move and when not to move. You know? I'm just a worker. And, and you guys have to understand that when you're doing a production and you're up front, you're just the worker. Everybody's telling you what to do. You, you just be dumb and follow the cues and everything just work, okay? Follow directions. Get somebody that know more than you. Don't be envious. And don't think that somebody want to take something from you. I got to talk about that. Because we don't come together as one. John 17, Jesus was praying, Father, I want to be one with you. I want to be one with you. Okay? And I want my, my people to be one with me as I am one with you. So we got to learn how to trust one another. Stop all the fighting and the bickering, because time is running out. It's like, and where are you going to be at the end of the day? We're, we're in the days of Noah. 
I'm billing my art to hold all the folks that told me to put in the art. You should be billing your art to hold all the folks that God tell you to put in your art, because everybody got to have an art to reach the people to put them in the art so that we all can coast down the line with the Lord. I, 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 I talk light of it because it's fun to go out and minister. It's fun to talk to somebody about the goodness of the Lord and tell them that in everything you do, put God in it. Put him in it. I love to dance. I'm a choreographer. I love it. But I have to put God in it. I can't do it without it. I can't. I can't. I have to pray and say, I don't know how to do this. Help me. So I teach fitness. I got to put God in it because without him, I can't do it. I don't know where I get the energy from. I feel like I'm, I'm about to bust sitting down here because I've been rumping and rumping and rumping. And I don't know why people take drugs. I don't. I don't get it. You can do something that's so enjoyable for God that you feel high. And that, that highness goes out on the people that you're around. They start getting happy and having fun with you. And hey, that's life. That's life. That's life. And don't, don't, well, if you do drugs, I ain't coming down on you. Just try to stop. You kill yourself. That's it. If you drink a lot, I'm not telling you to stop. Do everything in moderation. Don't get out there drunk and can't find your way home. And somebody knock you out and take your $5 that you had and you were trying to save it for Christmas. Okay? Little, little things like that. Just be light. Be light, but tell people the truth. Okay? So let's stretch this out. Let's stretch this out. This is one of my, my hard stretches because I want to get my legs back here. So that's my goal. Don't y'all try to be doing what I'm doing because I ain't got it all up here. I just think I can do pretty much anything I want to do with this little body of mine. Okay? So I'm always testing it. If you want to test it, do it on your own. Don't call me and tell me you ripped something. Ain't my problem. Okay? <laughs> so let's bring it back here. I think I'm a little bit, a little bit more. And I'm going to try to stretch out my inner thigh and bring it, bring it all the way down. I can feel the stretch. So I'm gonna help myself come down. And I also do these with the, the ballet stretchers and the rubber bands. So you, you lift, you lift your, your tailbone off the floor, okay? And you just kind of like come down with it so you can feel it, lift it up, lift it up. You might be sore tomorrow. I probably will be sore tomorrow. <laughs> but that's okay. So long as I can walk. Okay? All right. So we're going to sit up tall. We're going to bring our arms up. And this, this is kind of hard because you got to keep your arms beside your ears. All right? You ready? So we're going to bring them over. 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 Keep them up. You can feel that stretch down the side. Your latissimus are stretching, stretching, and bring it in. And the, and the reason I like to stretch so much because I know what it does to the body. When you stretch a lot, you detoxify your blood. It's not that jumping and kicking and running around in circles. It's the stretching that open up the ligaments, open up the muscles, let energy in, fresh oxygen. And the blood gets to say, yay, I'm being washed. You know, washed in the water. It's like, wait in the water. You, <laughs> you, your, your inner self is waiting in the water of the blood. <laughs> and, oh, the blood. Yep, it heals. It heals. It'll cause you to heal quicker, sustain your healing. If you got clean blood, you can't get disease. Disease gets in dirty blood. I wonder when doctors going to get with that. Purify the blood. Purify your mind. Purify your heart. How can you get sick? Hmm. How can you get sick? You might have symptoms, but how can you get sick? See, I trust the Lord. I trust him that he said none of the diseases will come on me from Egypt. So let me do what he said do 
in what? Deuteronomy 28. I want all them blessings. I don't need the curses. Go somewhere. Step off. Because I ain't doing that. I don't want the disease of Egypt to come on me. So let me do all those little things where he said, if you do this, if you do that, if you do this. It's always an if with God. Because he don't tell you what you should do. You better do. Leave that up to you. That's called free will. Then he's not controlling us. But he said, if. Yeah. If I walk right, if I love right, if I don't hold grudges, if, 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 then none of these diseases can come on me. Okay? And when I get a symptom, people always laugh at me when I talk about what I do when I get a symptom. I pull out my castor oil. I got, that's it. Rub it in my body, rub it in my nose, rub it in my eyes, go to bed. Next morning, I'm good to go. I'm pretty much 24 hours. I am good to go because I took care of the symptoms. Because the devil's going to say, well, I'll make her think she's sick. No, you're a liar. I ain't going there. I'm not going there. I'm going to stay right here in this middle. I ain't moving left or right. Right in the middle. God said, and I remind him, you said, Lord, this, and you said this, and you said that. Are you a liar? I don't think so. I don't think so. So I'm going to keep my organs clean the best that I can, and pray that he do a better job than me. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. Food is medicine. A lot of dark, leafy, leafy food. Juice it so it's already digested, and it will go in you and clean you out. Yeah, and if you're not having real huge bowel movements, then there's something wrong. You need to flush that system. You need to flush the system. If you have poor energy, Flush your system before you start doing a whole bunch of Clean yourself out first and see how you feel. That's what I always say to people. They say, well, what am I supposed to do for this? First of all, clean out and then see how you feel. And most of the time they say, you know what? I had so much energy the other day. I just feel so clean. There you go. You just feel full of junk, crazy food. Don't eat fast food. I know y'all in a hurry and y'all got to stop by Nicodemus or somebody over there. But make a peanut butter jelly sandwich and bring it with you. If you're going to be gone all day to do a whole bunch of things, pack some energy food, some nuts, whatever nuts you can you like. Pack what you're going to eat. I always make sure I got a couple of bananas. Always. Always. I bring two because if somebody say, can I have one? I'm going to give you one. <laughs> always big enough to share, you know? And, and... Get you something to drink, like some ginger water, something good that you made, you know? If you don't have a juicer, they so cheap now, $50, anybody in the world can have a juicer. And make your medicine. Get your juicing book, if you don't know how to make formulas, and read for this, for that, for this, and do it. Do it. This is health talk. This is to get you up off of what you're on. Because when I go to services and I look over the congregation, there must be 10,000 pounds worth of fat in the congregation. What is wrong with us? And I don't care if I hurt your feelings. I'm just telling you, you're going to die from that fat. If your belly is huge, you better start working on it because that's going to, help, going to hinder your heart. Call a heart attack, okay? Get that fat off the belly. Make the liver work a little bit more. Get all the herbs and the, and the foods that make the liver just work, 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 and go on over to the, to, to the gallbladder and work, 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 and the kidneys and work, work, and flush out your body. You should not have all of that. I don't have a, um, a thing, a filter on my mouth, so I'm just going to tell you the truth because you're my friend, and I'm not going to offend you because you love me, right? Right? Right, Liz? You love me, right? That's what I'm talking about. Right, Lindsay? You love me. No, say it like you do. Yeah, I love you. Okay, there you go. I'm going to tell you the truth. And if it hurt, that means it's for you. It's your body, and you want to live. I want to know what it feels like to be 200. I don't care what men say. I want to be happy. Why die? I, I, did I come here just to live and die? Why die? Why can I stay here? Forever, let me, let me be one of those that will be here when he come back. Why, why can't I be one of them that be here? Somebody going to be here when he come back. Why can't I be one of them and just 
teach everybody, give out love, do all the do all the things that my daddy did when he was here. Let me imitate my daddy and be faithful and honest about imitating him. Be like him. You know? I wrote a song about I want to be just like Jesus. And it's going to come out, um, I think we, we finish in December. I want to be just like Jesus. I want to be just like him. I want to be just like Jesus. But I got to take my cross and walk like him. Ah, there's work. There's work. If you want to be like him, you got to carry a cross. I want to love just like him. Carry the cross. Okay? Because just as sure as you loving, somebody going to hate. Okay? I want to give just like him. Carry the cross. Okay? I want to walk just like him. Teach him what he was teaching. Doing what he was doing. Carry the cross. Carry the cross. And when you carry the cross so long, you don't feel like you're carrying the cross. You're just doing what you do. Okay? Because it's not going to be easy in the beginning. You got to get that mind straight. Sound mind? Got to get it straight. Got to think about the things that are just. Think about the things that are lovely. You got to get into that word. You got to read it. You got to feed on it. You got to stop eating so much. In place of dinner, study the Bible. And if it takes you 20 minutes to a half an hour to eat dinner, 20 minutes to half an hour, say, Lord, I'm going to feed on you. There you go. If you need something to push you, instead of having breakfast, say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight my way to noon and just keep my mind on you. I'm going to tame this body. It's not going to control me because right now the body is controlling a lot, a lot of people. They get this little grumble. And they say, oh man, I didn't eat today. I better go get something to eat before I get sick. Get sick! Get sick! Your body is telling you, I'm controlling you. I'm your drug. So when I grumble at you, you better feed me or else. When I decide I'm going to go and not eat before 12, for like weeks and weeks, I tell my body, shut up. I say, here, have some water. There you go. That's what I do. I take a sip of water and say, there you go, shut up. See, I, I treat my body like it's my friend. It, it has to do with I, I'm in control, yeah. This, this friend right here, I control. It's mine, on loan, for now, until I get that body that don't deteriorate. I control it, my friend. You eat when I say eat, you sleep when I say sleep. There you go. Go to bed. We should get eight to nine hours. I don't care how old or young you are. It takes eight to nine hours of sleep for the body to do what it needs to do. It needs to regenerate. It needs to get ready to flush you out when you wake up. And if you're tossing and turning, you can't sleep, you better read some Bible or put the Bible on and listen to it so it can get you into the sleep. So you can get sound sleep and wake up feeling like, wow, this feels good. You know? I don't wake up tired like I used to some time ago. I wake up like, wow, this feels good. I listen to my body. How do I feel today? I'm not rigid, though. Don't want you to be rigid because nobody going to like you if you're so rigid. If you just got to do this at that time, this at that time, this at that time, nobody's going to like you. Your, your friends, you thought were your friends, they're kind of like, mm, Mary's kind of weird, so I'm going to go over here. I'm not going to talk to her today. Okay? But I want you to take your body serious. That's why I like to do health talk. I like to stretch it out and do health talk. Take that body serious. It's the only body you're going to ever have until we meet our maker and he make us new. This is it. And I don't think we're ever going to have this old crazy flesh body anymore. I don't think so. It'll be something totally different. Just like this world is totally different. Okay? We're going to do some slow motion moves here. I want you to just go back and come up. I want you to use your stomach to strengthen you to come back and come up. And then we're just going to lay it over. And we're going to come back. Don't go all the way back. Just come back so your stomach, can, your stomach has to work. I want every part of your body to work. So you just bring it over. Down. 
and make that stomach work. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Just relax and hold it. When my body starts to shake, it's time to get baby girl, please. Let me lay down. But look, I'm just gonna hold it a little bit longer. Hold it a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna bring it up. A nice straight back. Nice and straight. Okay? So you just shake, shake, shake. Every vertebrate should be able to move. You want to oil them up. Okay. So we're going to go from side to side with our neck. So I got my elbows on my, on my thighs. And I'm going from side to side. Nice and slow. I don't want to pop my little neck. Side to side, just stretching it. Stretching it. I am tight on my left side because I can feel it pulling. And my right side is good. So I'm going to stay over here and just let my left side stretch out. And if you need help, you just pull that neck over just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I feel it relaxing. I feel it relaxing. And I like to take my time when I'm stretching my body. I like to take my time because I want to feel every muscle that I'm stretching. I want to know what it's doing. Okay? That's how, you, that's how you introduce yourself to your body. Hello, body. My name is Mary and I want to get to know you. I want to know how you feel. I want to know what I can do to make you feel better. You know? I really want to know. So my shoulder blade is tight, and I just try to bring it around. And I bring it around again. And now I can feel it going deeper into the middle of my back now, so that means it's stretching out. So I just keep doing what I do until I get it done. And this is something that you can stretch every morning when you get up. Don't, don't, don't be, I get up and I, okay, let me get ready for work. You're going to be a grumpy person when you go to work. Just uh, Get your blood flowing. Get it flowing. Get it flowing. Get it, and get, get a dry towel and rub yourself down. This is the best blood stimulator, okay? The best. And just rub it down. Rub it down. And you'll feel the energy coming to your body. And I offer this time to everybody, everybody that's watching. Don't wait too long. We don't know when your last day is here or my last day. This is, this is what I call altar call. You say you love the Lord, but you don't. And somebody asks you, you love the Lord? You say yes. And then they look at you and they say, you don't. Why I say that? Because I can tell by the words you say. I can tell by the way you live your life. I can tell by the things that you do. We don't have the opportunity to wait. We should be snatching people out of hell 24-7. We should be rescuing souls for the kingdom. We should be telling everybody, like, we don't have a minute to waste to surrender. Surrender your whole self unto God. Make your own altar. And if you want to know really what your altar is, it's your prayer life. It's what you go to, and you bring it before the Lord. And you say, Father, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever I'm sorry for. I'm sorry, forgive me if I didn't act right today, if I hurt somebody that I... Forgive my sins, known and unknown. Father, just help me. I surrender. There's nothing else I can do on my own. All to Jesus, I surrender. Mold me and shape me into what you sent me here to be. I am not my own. I was bought with a price. Father, forgive me. If I forgot something, 
that did something wrong to somebody, forgive me. I'm at your altar today. It's not about me joining the church. It's not about me joining the congregation. It's not about me mending with something. It's about me coming to you naked, filthy, ugly, dirty, whatever, just as I am. I'm coming to you and say, Father, I surrender. My heart, my soul, my mind, my spirit, my job, my husband, my wife, my children, I surrender all of that to you. Everything, physical, mentally, spiritually, I surrender that to you. There's nothing I can do with it. I want to change. I want to change, Lord. I want to be somebody that you can put your trust in. I want to be somebody that you're proud of. And I want to say, Lord, send me. Send me to tell somebody. Send me to help somebody. Send me to lift somebody up. Send me to love somebody that I don't know. Send me to do something good for somebody that I don't know, that I don't love. Outside of my character. Let me be available. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want all and more that you have for me. Take all my talents and use them. Everything about me, use me. Use me. Because I know the more that you give me, the more that you expect of me. That's your interest. That's your interest on what you've given me. I'm not putting it in the ground. I'm giving it out. And I'm working it. And I'm doing it your way. So when I finish this task, I know that you're going to give me another one. And another one. And another one. And you're going to keep me working. And I'm not going to get tired and I'm not going to get weary. Because you tell me when to rest. You tell me when I've done enough for the day. So I surrender. I surrender my all to you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I trust you. I trust you with all my heart, all my mind, all my spirit, and my soul. Amen. Broadcasting worldwide to every nation, this is the Gospel America Television Network. Broadcasting to every nation on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, and online at GospelAmerica.net.